door open today, one floor fan running there. My other fan running over here. Here we go. Pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Sprayed out nice. We're gonna block this. These will be painted a pearl white, so we'll probably block these down to 400. Then we're going to seal and paint. I'm going to spray some white sealer on them to save on paint. This tri-stage Harley paint's pretty pretty expensive. PPG. We want to make sure that we've got enough on here. When we block this out, we cover where the stripes were before. Dark side over here. You're probably going to see a whole lot here, but we'll show it anyway. So there we go. Bring you back when we get these blocked. All right, we see AC unit number one here running today. It's about 95 degrees outside. What we got? Kind of hard to focus. Looks like it's saying about 78 in here, 76, 76 in here. Not too bad. It's usually what it runs, 15 to 20 degrees cooler in here. Well, I've talked about it before. Don't skimp on the insulation. I studied the walls of the shop at six inches. Put six inches of it, roll insulation in the walls. We've got 12 inches in the ceiling above me here in this room. This room is 40 by 32, and it stays that cool in here with no AC even when it's that hot outside, provided I keep that overhead door down. So, all right, we're going to get back to these uh, motorcycle saddlebags now. I showed you the stands I made before I took this one off. See here, we got some guide coat on. The tops over here, the filler panels. Start sanding some on these. Putting this in 320 block. Got a hard block and a soft block here for the flat spots and the curves. Back side's done, the bottom's done. I'm working on this front face end, and I'll show you now why you <coughs> excuse me, have to do this. It looked like these were probably ready for paint when I sprayed the, the primer on them. I used sealer instead, but when I sprayed that on, it looked like they were ready for paint. But here's what to show. A little low spot right here. You can see where it's still dark. But here's the big one. You see that little line? Right here, right there. Well, those lines, that's where the stripe was on these. So even though I had those blocked out that much, that good, it looked really nice, you still have that little bit. Now this, this blocking out the primer will take care of that. So all that's gone. I'm sure that we'll see some down the sides. I'll skim the block, I'll bring you back and show you that, but I'm sure for that stripe coming down and around this side right here, that'll probably end up showing up too a little bit. So that's the whole point in priming and blocking. So I'll bring it back when we make some more progress, get these all knocked out. I I'm sanding them 320. It's going to be painted white. I don't think there's any reason to go any further than that when you're painting a light color, but that's just my preference. So I'll bring it back when we make more progress. All right, now I'll show you here. I've finished this end off. Looks real nice, real smooth. I don't see any low spots. See the bottom's nice. This end down here, this will be the front end. It looks good. No places. Like I said, this is the back. You'll really see this on the back of the bike, so you want to be sure we have this back side sanded very nicely. Here's the side of the saddlebag, and this is what I was talking about with that stripe. Even though I had this thing blocked down, what it looked like I had the clear that was on it originally blocked evenly with the stripe, you can see that stripe right here. You can see how it runs right along the bottom of it. Here's the top. I'll block this in and I'll bring it back and show you how it disappears when you block it. I'm just doing a cross hatch block with 320 on this. Um, sand it until your guide coat disappears. Don't go any further. That's all the farther you have to go. Bring you back. <laughs> 